What's up my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to see how I took great care of my skin right before this video, please click the link in the box below. All right, so mm, my face feels good. My bliss sex is popping, feeling all tingly on my lips. Now let's go in with something that I've been doing recently, which is pretty cool. Um, it's, I would say low coverage and I'm gonna do it as quickly as I can because I know my battery is not, it's not at 100. So let's get right into it. I'm using a Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow uh, Pencil and we're gonna put this in the description box for you. Medium brown, this is a medium brown. And I go very lightly with this. Okay, so, <laughs> you guys. Um, one thing that I've always been an advocate for is prevention. So how to make my body very strong in order to fight whatever comes my way. In the last four years, I've been very conscious of um, the importance of keeping my body healthy in order to stick around longer, but also to make sure that my daughter stays healthy with sickle cell disease. So I feel like now, you know, these remedies and these, um, like a lot of the stuff coming out on social media, I'm using the poor, the poor professional by benefit, just right here on my pores, this is where I tend to grease up. Um, and on my nose and my forehead. And uh, this stuff smells really good. And I put on my smell line as well. So this is all, this is just for fun and it's therapeutic, it's fun to do. Um, but I'm not going anywhere. But this would help your makeup last. If you are someone who sweats in your T-zone like me, this is the T-zone. When your inner part of your cheeks, your nose, your forehead, and perhaps your chin gets oily throughout the day, that means that you are combination skin. You're not fully oily and you're not fully dry either. You just get oily in this area, which we call the T-zone. So some basics 101 skin knowledge for you. Um, if you get oily everywhere, then you're oily. If you're just dry everywhere, you never get shiny or oily throughout the day, then you have dry skin. So if I was to wear my makeup all day, this would be controlled. It wouldn't be as shiny as it would be had I not put it. So my trick recently is to use, to not use foundation, but only concealer. Watch. So this is the concealer by Maybelline, very affordable. You'll find it at Walmart, at your drugstore. And this is the Fit Me Concealer. I'm in the color 45 Tan, which is practically my skin tone. The trick that I've developed, it requires setting spray, so I'm gonna go get that right now. The setting spray that I'm using is the NYX Radiant Finish. So what I've been doing this past week, and this is what I used on my birthday, I'll insert some clips right there because my skin was looking pretty good. The trick is I take my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I use it as you would use a concealer to highlight and contour like you see in all the YouTube videos. So right underneath my eyes, and triangle underneath the eyes. You know, we see everybody do this. So the only reason really that I'll use it up here is because I have a little bit of scarring I, I do pick up my pimples, you guys, I'm not, I'll be honest, like, but this is part of highlighting, typically, like this whole area right there. So I'll do it, but I'm mainly covering up some scarring, and I don't know if you can see them because of my, because of the lighting, it's pretty, pretty bright, but I have some scars right there, for instance, because I need to stop picking up my pimples, I know. And I'll use it right there underneath my lips because I do have some extra melanin <laughs> hyperpigmentation we call it uh, underneath my lips so I'll do that to kind of even it out and especially because I want to do a red lip today so when you do a red lip you really want to have an even skin tone because that red really pops and to make it pop flawlessly you need an even skin tone right around the lips 
So we'll do that. So I'll add this here just for a highlight, but um, I'm also gonna go ahead and add this to any other area that needs coverage. Meaning, um, if I got some scarring right here, right there, and see I have it here, so I might as well create a bit of a, like a reverse contour while we're at it, and I'll do it. And I'm using complex terms, but I promise you guys I will come out with a video that will show you the basics of makeup, because I feel like we're lacking that a little bit on YouTube. I feel like some of our YouTubers have been in the game for so long that they forget that like there's new people coming on. There's new people who haven't been you know, watching YouTube videos. Um, they're either just becoming adults like they were teenagers or, or kids, you know, five, 10 years ago. But now they're women, they're going to college, they're going to school or even high school and they want to get into makeup. And so they need somebody to teach them. Okay. So let's get back to the basics and I will be doing that. I want to do some kind of a boot camp, something for um, the basics. We'll work on that. So now this is, this is where it gets fun. I'm using, a fluffy brush like this one this is angled it just so happens to be angled and I like I, I think I like the fact that it's angled the more I think about it you know what it does help because I can get in the crevices this is what I do so I'm gonna start by do I spray my face first or the brush I think I spray my brush I've only done this twice and it turned out so flawless oh <gasps> so I hope I nail it this time so I'm spraying my brush a couple of times so <laughs> I'm gonna blend just the bottom, just the edge of, let me zoom in. I'm just gonna blend the edge of this concealer and I'm gonna leave what's left right underneath my eye. I'm gonna let it set a little bit more cause you do want like right underneath your eye to be a little brighter. So we'll do that. And now I'm going on the other side. I haven't sprayed it just yet, but I'm going to. So now this is just the edge. Okay, right, and I'm leaving this product here right underneath my eye, and we'll go over it in a bit. So now it feels a little dry, so I'm gonna spray it again. I don't want it to be too wet because then it's just gonna pick up the product and we'll just be wasting. So now let's go over the edge as well of this right here. Oh, I can't wait to do my boot camp because you might not understand why I'm like dragging it down this way, but it, there's a reason, okay? Just so you know, there's a reason. So as you can see, you naturally see one line here. Those are your cheekbones. This is much more defined than this side, but we're going to add some reinforcement in a second. So now I sprayed my brush a little bit more. We're going to go right underneath the eyes with this. So now it just looks like my face is all white <laughs> with the lights, but I promise you it's gonna look, gonna make sense. So I'm bringing this up. So this is why I like the angle because I can really get in here and tilt my brush like this. This, and I'm gonna go over my eye as well. Screen face. But the way I went about it, trust me, it's not just covering your face with concealer because I was very specific as to where I put it and how I spread it. And this makes a difference, especially in pictures. Now, I really like this product. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of contour with my L'Oreal Paris, L'Oreal Paris infallible long wear shaping stick. This is the color chestnut. I'm gonna sculpt, sculpt my cheekbones a little bit. So when you go like this, you see there's a line. I'm only doing the top part right there. And what I like to do too is to do contour the tip of my nose, my forehead, like this much. And again, this turned out so nice with a beauty sponge. This is a small one, I believe this is e.l.f. And we're gonna use the bottom of it. So I'm gonna spray the bottom of this as well. We're using a lot of that setting spray. I'm telling you, it's a great product. Sephora 
59 brush, the Pro Precision brush. I'm using that with my Mac. As you can tell, it's hitting pan. And uh, yeah, I love this stuff. So I'm gonna take some of this, and it's a dark enough color to use on top of my contour. You guys, I'm getting so tired. We're gonna touch the powder. It's still a little too much, so I'm going to kind of use the cap to just kind of mix both products, both powders, so it's even. So the importance of setting your, your liquid or your cream products is huge high importance because they're liquid, they're wet, so they have to be dried up in a way. And this is what this does to make sure that they don't move, okay? I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope the lighting gives it justice because in, in person, I look flawless. I feel like I don't even need anything else. Like I would bust some mascara and call it a day. This is from my cell phone camera. As you can see, it's all even and just glowy and pretty. It just looks like my skin has some nice shading to it or just, right? It just looks cute. Um, but you see what I mean? Like the different, we got different shades on our skin. So when the same thing happens on our face, it looks so much more real and natural. And this is what I like about contouring and highlighting. But the way that I've found works best and most natural looking for me is exactly what I just showed you. So I hope you like it and I hope you try it. And if you do, comment down below. Let me know and tag me in a picture, in your Instagram picture, Facebook, whatever it is. So let's add some mascara because I honestly don't want to do too much more. I'm going to use, this is the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. So now for lips, I'm going to go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in the color Uncensored. And to finish off the look, I'm thinking of adding these pop-in earrings that I got from my cousin. Shout out to Danny, who I love so much. They're kind of like Nubian queen style earrings. So this is a woman with an afro and a red lip. So let's throw these on. Thanks so much for watching this video, my loves. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. Stand tall in life and in love.